everyone. Today we will be finishing our watercolor bottle painting. So here's my painting and I didn't think it looked too good. I want to fix it up. So here's what I can do. First of all, gather your materials. You will need a black Sharpie, colored pencils, and some oil pastels. First thing that you might choose to do is outline the bottle shapes. If you lost track of your shapes, then just uh, put your templates back on and trace around them. I'm just going to go out around the edges, being very careful. I would prefer not to outline the highlights. You may decide to do that if you want to. Now, while we're on outlining, uh, I think a black colored pencil looks very nice. And if you would like to have a little less of a hard line, and you'd like a line that's a little thinner that blends into your project. I'll do these last two uh, with the colored pencil. And as I do this, I could add a few details. Uh, I'm just gonna make the top rim of the bottle here. This was supposed to be the cork of a bottle. I can just make these bottles look a little bit better with my detail. This one was supposed to have a cork in it, so I'll just make that line go straight across. And now I'm going to add just a few lines that will help with the form of the bottle. Not many at all, but I think a few would be a nice detail. Now you can see I did just a few. If I had very dark bottles, I could be doing uh, these lines with a white colored pencil instead of a black or any color that you want that shows up. So now I'm going to do a little work with the highlights. I'm just gonna take a white pastel and you should have one of these because they were in the art bag. And I'm just going to bring this out a little bit. I'm going to blend it in with my finger. Now I want a little more highlight here, maybe a little over here. Blend that out, use tissue if you want to. And again, this kind of comes under the idea of adding detail to your bottles. Okay, well, I think I'm looking better already, but I'm going to continue on. And the next thing that I'll do is take my pastels again. And I'm not happy with my sky, but if I used more black. It's just going to get darker and darker and I won't really be able to work anything. Uh, so I'm going to take this oil pastel and it will be very important that I use the pastel going in a horizontal motion. Don't go up and down. This gives me such a beautiful uh, setting for me to work the pastel. And the oil pastels go over the watercolor in a transparent way. You can still see what you painted, but you can add more color. I'm going fast, I want you to go slow. I get a little on the bottom, smudge it out. Oh, 
Well, I must say I'm getting a little better here. Things are looking better. I'm just gonna blend that in. You don't wanna be able, you don't really want it to look like it's coloring. So be careful about just making lines. You wanna just keep blending and blending and blending. And one color is never enough when you're coloring. So now I'll go in with a little bit of blue in the background. And this I'm gonna make sure I'm going in a horizontal direction. And I'm going to be blending this in so you won't see as much of the lines that I'm making right now. And when you blend, uh, you wanna blend going in, I think for a background, usually if you go in a horizontal direction, Unless you're really trying to make stripes, it works out a little bit better. Looking a little bit better. And now I really want to work a little bit of the color now on the red bottle. I'm just going to take a little red pastel. If you have very dark bottles, you might have to use a lighter color. Let's color that down a little bit. It's always nice to have a little darker at the bottom if you can. That looks a lot nicer and I usually like to put a little glaze of yellow on many of my colors so it won't look cold there I'm pretty much ready to leave that bottle as it is um, now I have the purple bottle and I think I'll go in with some pink and just add a little bit to that Again, these are the oil pastels that were in the art bag. If you didn't get one, uh, there's still plenty. And so give me an email and we'll figure out how to get one to you. Okay, so you see, this is looking a lot better than this. And for the most part, I'm using, sometimes I'm using the same color, but if your bottles are very, very dark, you might be using lighter colors like uh, the pink and the yellow. Maybe gray might work out real well. Don't want to cover up my highlights. So I'm just adding a little form to my watercolor because I didn't think it looked quite finished before. And down at the bottom, I'll have more color. Okay, so I'm thinking this one and this one, and this one looks pretty good. I'll go in and do that green one next. I really don't want to cover up my highlight. Dark color at the bottom. And because this is supposed to be the cork of the bottle, I could always color it brown. Now I want my colors to talk to each other, so I'll just put a little yellow over here. It's yellow is my friend here. The 
This one needs to have a little bit of work done on it. Okay, I'm almost finished with this. I think that looks 100% uh, better, but I'm not quite satisfied. I'm just going to use some of my white pastel now in the background, and I'm gonna color very lightly. And this again is uh, about making the colors talk to each other. You have a lot, of, you have some white down here. If I put a little white in the background, it will look like it all goes together. Pretty much ready to finish. And don't, if you uh, have a very light painting, don't be afraid to go in with a black uh, oil pastel. And you can always add a little bit more with the black if you want to. Just a little bit here and there. And I would like to add just a few shadows. I hope this video is not going to get too long, but I'll just put a little shadow under my bottles here. You can see my light was probably coming this way. So these are the cast shadows. Okay, well that's my timer. And that means that this video needs to end or I won't be able to publish it. And as always, you want to sign your um, work in the lower corner. So take the time to make your uh, work look really good before you pass it in. And I hope this helps. Thank you.